Hey everyone, this lesson is on medical terminology for the ophthalmologic system, so the system involving the eyes. So we're going to talk about different prefixes and suffixes in this lesson to describe the eye and eye conditions. So we're going to first talk about what the word ophthalmologic means. So we're actually break down the word into pieces. So ophthalm or ophthalmo, the prefix ophthalmo means eye, so it refers to the eye. And the term ology comes from ology, meaning study of. And then the suffix ic means pertaining to. So when we put this all together, ophthalmologic means pertaining to the study of the eyes. So that is what ophthalmologic means. So we know that the prefix ophthalm or ophthalmo means eye. So you can think of ophthalmologist. But we can also see that the prefix opt also means eye. And you can think of words like optic or optometrist. And then the suffix opia, so you can see here there's all these parts here, O-P, O-P, O-P. So they all have something to do with the eye, but opia, if you've seen my previous lessons, ia usually means condition. So opia means condition of the eye. And then some prefixes that are more specific for the ophthalmologic system that might not be necessarily the case with regards to other medical terms include the prefix my, which means short-sighted or it refers to short-sighted. So you might have seen this prefix before in other lessons. My or myo usually means muscle, but with regards to the ophthalmologic system, we see that my usually refers to short-sightedness. Hyper, so the prefix hyper, hyper usually means above or high. But with regards to the ophthalmologic system, it really means farsighted. And then the prefix presby, presby refers to focusing of the lens. So we're going to look at some of these medical terms and some practice problems later to see how these fit. So with regards to hyper, hyperopia is the condition of being farsighted. Presbyopia means or refers to a condition involving an issue with the lens. So you can see conditions that we use the suffix opia with some of these prefixes. So let's talk about the I in general. So we're going to first talk about the prefix conjunctive, which refers to the conjunctiva. So the conjunctiva is the layer surrounding the eye. So you can think of words like conjunctivitis, so inflammation of the conjunctiva. The prefix sclera refers to the sclera. So the sclera are the whites of the eyes. And you can think of words like scleritis, so an inflammation of the sclera. Another one is ire, or ira. So the iris is the colored muscle that controls the contraction, allowing more or less light through the pupil. So you can think of iritis as well. So that's another term you could use, an inflammation of the iris. Blefair, blefair refers to the eyelid. And as I will continue to use the same example, blepharitis is an inflammation of the eyelid. So this can be a common cause of reddened eyelids in older patients. Some other terms or other prefixes that can be used to describe the eye and eye-related structures include lacrim. So lacrim, the prefix lacrim, refers to tears. And you can think of lacrimal duct or tear duct. Lacrimation means crying or there's tears, so your production of tears. And then we can see here, here's another suffix that can be used to describe conditions. But in this case, it's a condition of the pupil, so chorea. So the suffix chorea, so ia again means abnormal condition or a condition. And in this case, chorea means condition of the pupils. So let's take a look deeper into the eye with regards to medical terms to describe the eye. So the first one is corn or cornea. So corn, the prefix refers to the cornea. So the outer layer of the eye. Ache, the prefix ache refers to the aqueous humor. So the aqueous humor lies in this area here, the anterior chamber. The prefix fake means lens. So it refers to the lens of the eye. The next one is vitri or vitrio referring to the vitreous humor. So the vitreous humor is the fluid that is inside the main area of the eye. And then the prefix retin or retino refers to the retina. 
the back layer of the eye that receives light and transmits that into a pattern that's recognized as vision by the brain. So you can think of words like retinopathy, so a disease of the retina. So again, corn refers to cornea. So you can think of corneal abrasion, that is a scraping or an abrasion of the cornea. The prefix ache referring to aqueous humor, and really ache or aqua, you can think of words like water. Fake refers to the lens of the eye. Vitch or vitrio refers to the vitreous humor. And then retin or retino referring to the retina. So you can think of, again, a word like retinal detachment as a condition. So now that we've learned some medical terms to describe the anatomy of the eye and some eye conditions, let's practice with those medical terms we just learned. So the first practice problem we're going to look at is the term pseudophagia. So try to break this word down and see what it means. So the first part we're going to do is we're going to break it down into the prefix. So the prefix pseudo, you might have heard of this in commonly used language. Pseudo refers to something that is false. It's not true. So it's usually something that appears to be true or it appears to be real, but is not. And then the other part of this word is fake. And we learned that fake or fako refers to the lens of the eye. And then we know that the suffix ia refers to condition or an abnormal condition. So when we actually put this all together, pseudophakia is a condition of having a fake or false lens. And you might be wondering, what do I mean by that? It's actually when someone has cataract surgery. So the lens is actually removed and a artificial lens is actually put inside the eye. And we call those patients pseudophakic. So they have the lens inside their eye. And when we look, we see that they don't have their actual natural lens. They have a artificial lens. So that is pseudophakia or that patient would be referred to as pseudophakic. The next medical term we're going to practice with is the term blepharitis. So again, we break it down into the prefix. So blepher, you remember what that means? Blepher means or refers to the eyelid. And then itis, the suffix itis, means inflammation. So when we actually put this together, blepharitis is an inflammation of the eyelids. And again, I told you before that this is a common occurrence in older patients, blepharitis. And then the third medical term we're going to look at to break down to practice is the term vitrectomy or vitreectomy. So vitrectomy, if we break it down, vit or vitre refers to the vitreous or vitreous humor. And then the suffix ectomy refers to surgical removal or extraction. So vitrectomy is the surgical extraction or surgical removal of the vitreous humor from the eye. And some surgeries may do this for certain reasons. So again, pseudophakia, so we look at this word again, pseudo meaning false, and then fake or fakia referring to a condition of the lens. And again, this is something we call patients who have had cataract surgery. They're pseudophakic or they have pseudophakia. Blepharitis is blepher meaning eyelid and itis meaning inflammation. So it's an inflammation of the eyelids. And then vit or vitrectomy. Vitre means vitreous humor and ectomy means surgical removal or extraction. So vitrectomy is a surgical extraction or removal of the vitreous humor. So this is a quick lesson on medical terms for ophthalmology. If you haven't already, please consider liking, subscribing, and clicking the notification bell to help support the channel and stay up to date on future lessons. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.